So today we're playing RuneScape. Not the shitty old one, that's RuneScape 3, but the even shittier older one that's actually newer that we call old school RuneScape. Anyways, this is me. I've had quite the week in RuneScape. Uh, actually, it was two weeks and possibly the most RuneScape two weeks I've ever had. And by that, I mean I wanted to do a thing so I didn't have to do another thing, but the thing that I thought I needed to do in order to not do the other thing actually wasn't one of the things I needed to do. So, uh, let's just start from the beginning. It, it, it all started like any other day in RuneScape. But first, for those of you who don't know, the whole reason I play my account like an Iron Man is because way back in the day, I actually got hacked. So I take keeping your online information safe very seriously. That's why I'm proud to tell you guys that this video is sponsored by NordVPN. Let's be honest, you probably play RuneScape, so you are probably terminally online. NordVPN can help keep your online data safe from tons of different types of online security threats. With their new and improved threat protection feature, whether it's someone pretending to be a service that they're not, or malware that's trying to take data off of your computer, or a DDoS attack, which us rootscapers are maybe all too familiar with. NordVPN has a solution built for just the occasion. You can connect to servers all over the world, whether it's North America, Europe, or, uh, or whatever, whatever this place is. You can go to nordvpn.com forward slash 9rain and use the code 9rain. Right now, if you purchase a two-year plan, you get four months for free. And not only will you be supporting my channel, but you'll be getting a great deal on a great product that I personally use and like. So thanks again to NordVPN for sponsoring this video, and I'll get back to telling you about my daring adventures in RuneScape. It all started one day when I was chopping some fucking yew trees. Yo, check it out. I just got 88 wood cutting. Doing a bit of editing, a little chip, a little chop. The next AFK grind that I think I want to try is fire making, mostly because fire making is actually my lowest skill. It's lower than agility. I got 14,000 fire making experience with my Tears of Guthics last week. We which is a damn shame because that's a big waste of that free XP. I mean, 14,000 is not a ton, but still way more valuable on, on agility than it is on fire making. And who knows, maybe we do a little winter Todd grind. Wait a minute. No, that actually sounds kind of fun. So Tears of Gothic is a mini game that you can do once a week that gives you XP based on the number of quest points that you have. For me, that's about 14,000 experience. The only catch is you get the experience in your lowest skill. And for me, now, that was fire making. I like doing a bit of skilling with the PVM grinds that I'm currently working on. So maybe, maybe we do some winter toad. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. That's sick. I have 130 kills, huh? Okay. The pyromancer row bottoms look really freaking cool. And a tome of fire would be nice. Yo, maybe we go to winter toad. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. That actually sounds pretty fun. Maybe that's the next thing we do. So at this point, pretty harmless. I'm thinking, let's get fire making up a little so that next week, that 14,000 experience goes in agility which is a skill that a lot of people don't want to do in the game because it fucking sucks. So I'm one of those people. Wait, there was, there's some diaries that I wanted to do. Was it Western provinces? Shit. It's going to be one of those episodes, gamers. I'm feeling diaries and winter toad. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. So this is called <laughs> how to not play runescape by playing runescape. I, me, 2d9 rain. <laughs> Let me go ahead and walk you through this thing. Once a week, I do tears of gothics. I get 14,000 experience in either fire making or agility. Getting that experience in fire making is bad. Getting that experience in agility is good because we don't want to do agility. Agility fucking sucks. So now this is all fine and dandy up until this point, but I make one more crucial mistake here, which is that I decide I want to do the Western Provinces Elite Diary, which is cool. We love the Western Provinces Elite Diary. When you do an Elite Diary, you get a 50,000 XP lamp, which I was planning on using for agility experience and bitches. So anyways, so I'm thinking I need to get fire making so that it's no longer my lowest skill. And while I'm at it, I know that 91 fire making is required for the Western provinces elite diary. The funny thing about that is it's not. You see, these are the requirements for the Western Provinces Elite Diary. And you'll notice on here, it does not mention fire making at all. So how I pulled that one out of my ass, I don't even know. <laughs> In fact, if you go to the wiki and look up all the fire making requirements for all of the diaries, the highest one is 85. So you can construct a pirate ship from magic logs. And that's the Kandarin Elite 
diary. So, so I, w I want to go do some, fi some fire making. And that's the first kill. Task completed cozy. Task completed can we fix it? Task completed handyman. Huh, I guess I've really never done any winter toad on this account in years. Certainly since the tasks existed. <laughs> Oops. Um, winter toad is so AFK. I got a... <laughs> I got a fire making level a really long time ago. Like I'm pretty sure, okay, a couple kills ago. We've got 83 fire making. We've got a couple crates. I'm pretty sure my bank is almost full already. So we'll be opening these shortly. Okay, it's time to open the first bunch of caskets. What are they, are they caskets? Supply crates. Boom, boom. Boom. Come on. Give me the pet, the pet. Come on, give me the pet. Okay, three more, come on. Spoon, no, shit. Okay, well, we can, <laughs> the grind continues. And there it is, 85 fire making. This is insane experience. I think we're probably getting close to 400k an hour, which means in less than an hour, we will have 86 fire making, which feels insane compared to some of the other skills that I've been training. So this is kind of a fun grind. I feel like my total level is flying up. We're well on our way to 2200. My total XP is booming. You people are probably wondering why the hell I'm gushing over Winter Toad, like the first thing that that everybody does on their Iron Man. But need I remind you, not a real Iron Man. So I didn't start out this way. We weren't always playing the game the way we're playing it now. So this is fun. It's fun to come do the grinds that I never did. All right, let's check out this shit. What did we get? Boom, 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 the pet. No, no pet. Pages, yes! Pyromancer row bottom. I have wanted this for so long. It looks so good. Look at me. Oh my God, I fucking love these legs. I don't think, I mean, probably nobody else would freak out over pyromancer bottoms like this, but holy shit, I think they look so cool. Look at me, yes! Eee! That is by far, hey, what the fuck? That is by far the item that I wanted the most. Uh, and then boom, boom, boom. Boom. Okay, what is our collection log looking like? Okay, we just need the boots, the tome, and the pet. 165 kills and 620k. Yes, I actually can't believe I got the Pyromancer robe bottoms. That's the fucking coolest thing I've gotten this episode, probably. At this point, life was good. We were well on our way to getting agility experience without ever having to do agility. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is check this thing out. Look at this activity advisor. Right now, all it tells you to do is quests. We've done all of the normal quests. We just have Hope Spears, Will, and Frozen Door, which are mini quests that I'm not even sure what they do, but I can start this mini quest by talking to Hope Spear in the Goblin Temple Crypt, north of East Ardoin. And then the Frozen Door, I think, is how you enter next. So I need to go defeat some of the God Wars bosses, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have to go get a KC now at each of the bosses in the God Wars dungeon. So I'm gonna go do Hope Spear's Will, and then maybe do the Frozen Door. I've never killed Commander Ziliana, so I guess I'll have to see what that takes. And then... I think we should do the Western Provinces Elite Diary. I'll need 85 agility, but that's easy enough to boost for. I'll have to kill a bunch of chompy birds, but I'm pretty sure I've already killed like 500 of those or something. I'm getting to the point in my account where my stats are high enough that I can start looking at the Elite Diaries as something that I can finish. That's actually pretty dope. I, I think I want to do this over the next couple of episodes while we're grinding TOA, Chambers, Theater of Blood, and Corrupted Gauntlet. So I have been doing all of those. For those of you that are new here, here. This is Iron Man. The series where it's basically a main account, but everything in the boss raids or slayer collection log is off limits until I've earned it myself. <coughs> I forgot to got to breathe before I said that. So basically my account is like a normal account, except I have to earn all the good items the hard way like an Iron Man. It's very cool. There's an entire series about it that you're actually, you're watching, <laughs> you're watching it right now. So in between all of the fire making and wood cutting, I was also doing some tombs of a masket and they were going about as well as the rest of this video. Wait, I keep going the wrong way. That's pretty cringe. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> <laughs> shut up, shut up. Guy here doesn't Don't laugh rain. at me. Don't laugh at me. Now, usually I'll put all of the raids content in like its own video, which I have a lot of those, but these clips were too good. I just, I wanted to put them in this one. So uh, here's a little segment I like to call, uh, do tombs of a masket with, with Angus and Rakeen. I try to picture like what did, how she like conceptualizes me telling her about raids because she doesn't play games or anything. I'm like, yeah, it's like a lottery. I'm basically oh, gambling. Yeah, for, like the really. purples and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, I I maybe wouldn't lead with it's a lottery. It's like I'm gambling. basically gambling. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's not yeah. the approach. If I spend 30 hours here, I might get a purple. Yeah, that, okay. Yeah, that's, see, now the way that you're describing it is starting to sound kind of bullshit. And if you're wondering how TOA has been going 
playing so far. This is my collection log. Very cool. Now I have to hit 78. Did you just fucking... <laughs> you... You... Oh, he's in the poo-poo pen, no, bro. No, he just poo-poo pen me. I don't want to go to the poo-poo pen. I've been rekeened. I actually... I actually lose DPS for this. No! Joke's on you. Faster, I'm hitting zero, 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 zero. Nine Rain, can you please pull a zero, fang this raid so zero, you're not weak anymore? Zero. Dude, I can't hit! Does it even take range damage? You actually completely uh, fucked me. You completely fucked me. I'm never gonna get MVP. I'm never gonna get a purple. I hit! I hit a 13! Yes! Where do you think they find all these baboons? Hmm? Pillars, pillars. Pillars. You yes. think I'm going to pillars? You buffoon. Nine rain. Just like nine rain call. Uh, vents, vents, vents. Get there. Pour the soup down. Pour me poach down this vent, Diane. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds nothing like Skiddler, but I like that it is a Skiddler, you know? I mean, pour this potion down the uh, Just pour <laughs> this potion down there. And there we go. There it is. <laughs> That's not oh, terrible, yes. dude. I'm getting fucking wrecked over here. I'm at 53 Wait, HP. Why don't you pray? Pray to the gods. Pray to the gods that they might save you, Rakeen. Pray to them. Never. <laughs> Never. I will not pray to the gods. I think at the very beginning of this room, we need to like make sure all of us are standing on like the same tiles. So the two of us that get the poo can just get the same poo. Just, we don't have just a bunch of poo us. through the room. But I like the poo-poo pen. <laughs> I like the poo-poo pen. I like the rain in the poo-poo pen. <laughs> it's real nice, it is. <laughs> I like spending like time in the poo-poo pen. It sounds exactly like him. Just like you sound exactly like a smart Will Idol. <laughs> you sound like I a sound? smart Will Idol or a dumb Skiddler. I'll take either. I like being in the poo-poo pen. <laughs> so you remember how I said I was going to do fire making so I didn't have to do agility? And then I was like, hey, but what if I did these mini quests? Uh, because there's a little pop-up on my screen that I want to make go away. Well, in the most rootscape way imaginable, it was at this point that I went and did those things, despite the fact that I don't, I don't really think they offered me anything of value at all towards my goals. So, runescape. <laughs> we are crawling in this little hole in the ground because we are going to complete the mini quest, Hope Spears Will. Ow. Fuck, a goblin. Oh, he's level two. <laughs> so we've got to return to the land of the goblins. I've got a little goblin potion that'll turn me into one of those little dudes. And then I think we have to just go punch a bunch of goblins to death. <laughs> so I'm going to go do that. Okay. <laughs> we are totally going to be goblin number five. Look at this sneaky little devil. Look at him. My little hat. Okay, here we go. Okay. Okay, that's actually pretty epic. Oh, whoa! <laughs> you see my character just freak the fuck out? All right, look at my little, look at my little goblin waddle. Look at that, it's so sick. Hey, there's one. Wait, actually, from this angle, these goblins, because they prioritize east-west movement over north-south, they actually can't path next to me to be able to hit me. No way. This is broken. And this goblin's not gonna be able to hit me either, because he'll prioritize east-west over north. Ha! Look at this! Wait, these are so stupid. You, you're all idiots. This game's easy. Eat shit, strong bones. More like, huh, weak bones. Am I right? Huh. Got him. Um, and now that we've got all these bones, I think we'd maybe use them on the altar or something like that. Okay, bury the bones. 10,000 prayer experience, holy shit. Bury the bones. 2.5, bury these. 5,000, bury these. 1.25 thousand. What about these? 20,000 prayer experience. Okay, we still have a fuckload left to go, but we did it. Wait, but that's it. You bury the bones and feel a wave of gratitude from the spirit of strong bones. We've just, oh, we laid the goblin generals to rest. I see. In Ubusk, like the home of their people or something. Okay, well, that's one of the two mini quests that we had left done. I don't want to learn fucking, ah, uh, shit. I guess I'm going to go get the key from the frozen door. Fuck. Okay, I said I wasn't really looking forward to learning how to kill Commander Zilyana. But I just looked up a method and it looks really easy. Basically, you just run around in circles in the corners of the map and then you shoot her. So how hard could it be, really? I mean, at this point in my life, I've done so much PVM. I feel like maybe I have a 
pretty decent understanding of the game. And this should be easy. And maybe I'm cursing myself by saying all these things. We drink, we pray, we go down the dark hole today. I, <laughs> it's just occurring to me that I never finished the guide. So <laughs> I don't exactly know what I'm doing here. Um, now that I think about it, fuck. Okay, whatever. I, <laughs> why didn't I finish the guide? Whatever, we're going in the door. Okay, I'm pretty sure you just do this. You shoot and you run and then you just keep doing that. I wonder if it's worth using the long range attack style here. I lose a tick, but I'm pretty sure I'm already losing those ticks by the way that I have to kite her. And maybe this just means I'm gonna take less damage from Starlight while doing it. Either way, this is a pretty easy kill. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, eat shit, Starlight, you idiot. Okay, grimy Renar weeds, diamonds, a frozen key piece from Commander Zilliana, and she's not back for another 45 seconds. We totally smurfed this fight. Cool. Well, I'm gonna stay for the rest of the trip. This was actually pretty easy, so I'm, I'm happy to stay. And we'll keep killing Zilliana. A pretty fun kill, actually. I don't know why I thought it was such a big deal coming to this boss, but pretty fun. Okay, and that's a dragon medium helm from Commander Zilliana. Not even gonna look it up. We're not going for drops here. We're just going for some kills. I got six so far. We could probably get seven before we have to go home. I don't even know which drops you get from Commander Zilliana. Is that bad? Is that bad that I don't know that? Commander Zilliana OSRS. Commander Zilliana. You can get the uh, Armado crossbow. 508. Sarah Sword won't do shit. Okay, cool. We could get a really spoon-fed Armadillo crossbow. So, you know what? Maybe we cross our fingers and we go for 7kc and then we get spoon-fed. That would be kind of cool. Whoa, whoa, hey, ho, oh, hey, and we're out of here. Okay, I picked up the diamonds. We got 8kc, I think. What was that? Yeah, 8. Okay, all right. We were risking it for six fucking diamonds. Uh, could have died. <laughs> I don't know if 8 kill counts good at all. No idea. But we got the frozen key piece and my first 8 kills at Commander Zilliana. So I guess I'm gonna go do the other ones now. We actually do have to go back to Bandos because I never got a key piece from him because we killed Bandos 1,600 times before they released this. <laughs> so I gotta go do that once and then I gotta go kill Zamrock once, but that should be pretty straightforward. We are headed back to kill General Grador one final time before I never go there again until they update something else and I have to go there again. I'm feeling a little confident. We're not even bringing a full inventory of supplies, but I'm only gonna kill him one time and leave. We looking way fucking cool though. Wait a minute. I've never actually done Bandos with Bandos armor, so this will be the first time. That's actually kind of cool. Wait, I kind of like that. So I'm gonna get kill count. I'm gonna go kill Grador and then we'll go on to the next one here getting kill count. And this is like semi nostalgic for me. I, the amount of times that I've done this, I've gotten two goblin champion scrolls just getting kill count for General Grogor. Like this is a seriously massive part of I think 2021 for me. <laughs> Hey, there we go. Back to General Grador, baby. Let's go get this kill. Holy fuck, the other guy. Squid Femboy. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, guys. Don't remember exactly how to do this. Not a lot coming back to me here. We landed both specs. I'm oh a god. Okay, easy game. Wait, look at this kill. I'm a fucking maniac. Bandos, you ain't got shit on me. I ain't the same fucking warrior when we last fought. Look at this kill. Okay, okay, uh, uh, okay, okay. I, I see you, I see you. Okay, the divine potion was a stupid idea. I see now the error of my ways. I understand why no one would ever take a divine potion here. I knew that at one point in my life and I forgot it. Now I remember. Hey, and eat shit, General Grotto, you pussy. And... Grimy's, we get the snappy D's, baby. It's like we never left. We got the frozen key piece. Okay, I forgot that's why I'm here. 1,602 kill count. We finally get the frozen key shard that we've been searching for this entire time. Okay, I can't not go for one more kill, right? There's no way I don't go for one more. Fucking die, 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 die. And pray. I need to pray at the altar. I can't pray at the altar. Okay, let's see if we can get one more kill count. Oh my God, the stack. The spec didn't hit. And we're going to troll high, baby. I don't even fucking care that I didn't revert the thing. We almost died. Holy shit. <laughs> Fuck, I'm I'm out in the middle of nowhere. Okay, we're going to go to Arceus. Fuck this place. We got the third key piece. Now the final boss is Zamorak, which I'm pretty sure is kind of easy. So we'll just go do that. Wait, that imp did one damage to me. That's actually insane. I didn't even know that an imp could hit through this kind of armor. There's no way. I literally took good damage from an imp. I don't remember the last time I've even taken damage from an imp wearing nothing. That's crazy. What the fuck kind of odds are those? If anybody in the comments knows like the damage calculations to figure that out, I, I want to know what the fuck the odds are that I get hit by an imp in this armor. That I mean, look, look at this. Here's the setup. Actually insane. Okay, we got killed count let's go inside and we hit him again oh no 
Holy fucking shit. Hey, not so great after all. What does that mean? Okay, yeah, I clearly just haven't done any God Wars bosses since the combat achievements came out. So I guess we're just slurping them all up now. We got some coins and then we have the frozen key piece from Zamrak God. Holy shit, I'm dying. God, this is actually a brutal one. To I, I understand why this is called the hardcore killer. Holy shit. I think I just clicked this now. You line up all four pieces of the key and they magically snap together. Okay, we have the frozen key. Um, Use frozen key on frozen door. Tell me I'm not just fighting next. Okay, whoa. And we're here outside of next. I guess this is where you get KC and then maybe back there, there's another door. We fucking did it. Every free to play quest, every members quest, every mini quest completed. Oh, and, and actually the reason we did this in the first place was to check off the list for the activity advisor. The activity advisor literally has nothing to tell me to do. I think all it says to do is quests at the moment. Maybe they update that later. So now it's time to hide the activity advisor. Goodbye, little bubble. Fare thee well. So we were about a week in to this horrifying adventure, and we'd finally done all the things that we never set out to do in the first place. <laughs> but like any good RuneScape gamer, I finally got back on track to doing the thing that I wanted to do uh, in the first place. And 13,000 agility experience. Oh, all the hard work at Winter Toad finally paying off, which speaking of, I had a good time there and we didn't finish. So I actually think I'm going to go back. <gasps> oh, fuck. Man, the game, the fucking snow hit me in the dick and it got rid of my fire making level up thing. Anyways, uh, I'm 86 fire making. We're just having a good fucking time over here at Winter Toad. Uh, I actually really like this boss. I'm watching some StarCraft 2 videos. <laughs> actually, you know what? I'd never do this. So I'm gonna do this. If you like StarCraft 2, there's a Terran pro named you Thermal. That's his YouTube channel. He's doing a series where he uses only ghosts to get to Grandmaster and it's actually fucking great. So that's what I'm watching. I don't know what you guys watch when you play RuneScape. Actually, you probably watch, probably watching my my video now that I think about it this is actually probably what you're doing is you're watching my video while playing runescape anyways we're we're level 86 I'm enjoying the reclined gaming of winter toad so yeah I'll uh, see you in the next clip holy shit this game has come to the wire we got 24 HP I've actually been running around fucking healing the pyromancer something that I've never done before thank God die die you stupid bastard Please fucking die. It's at 1% and it's still there. Yes. Holy shit. Kill count 180. We got a new high score of 1780. Jesus. I feel like everyone was just sitting on their hands when it started going sideways. All right. It's time to open some crates. <gasps> we got the boots, baby. Let's fucking go. I did it. Full pyromancer. Yo, now just give me the pet, right? Collection log. All we need is the pet and the Toma fire. The last couple crates. Anything? Nothing? Okay. All right. Whatever. Apparently, we've done 30 Winter Toad. I don't know if that's right or not. For 723k, which is kind of fucking nothing. No, wait, it doesn't even show the boots. Okay, obviously, this tracker is fucked. Okay. We're making some decent progress on our way to 87 fire making. Like I said, I'm having a pretty good time so maybe we stay here for a bit longer seven fire making and the loot fat loot fat loot and the pet give me the pet okay hey and there's 88 fire making it, we're gonna be at 90 in no time just to, i don't know a couple more hours i'm punching the shit out of this imp and he keeps teleporting and then i run up and do a superman punch bah! and then he looks away and then i do a donkey punch <laughs> isn't that where you punch a chick in the back of the head while you're <laughs> Yeah, doing her dog exactly. stuff. I think, if I remember yeah. that correctly. Yeah. I think that's something that I learned Ooh. in middle school. Where I was like, wow, that's a thing when it's not a thing. <laughs> yeah. Like, who the fuck has ever done a donkey punch? Why the fuck would you hit a woman in the back of the head? That's a very different... You slap her ass, she's like, yes! And then you punch her in the back of the head. She doesn't say anything. You're like, oh, she's out cold. <laughs> just... She's <laughs> dead. Oh, she's I think... Like, oh. She's bleeding. Yeah, just she's bleeding fucking. a lot. Oh no. Oh, there's 90 fire making. Guess we can't use that <laughs> footage. <laughs> yeah, hot domestic abuse. Ha ha. It's a funny conversation we're having there for sure. God, I don't date women who won't let me get away with hitting them. 
for sure. <laughs> if it's not domestic violence, I don't want it. <laughs> yeah. I just missed it, but we got 91 farm making. But more importantly, we have completely filled our bank with delicious loot crates. Oh, uh, we, it's time to fucking let's let's open these babies. Oh man, the self control it has taken for me to bank all of these up. Okay, at this point, all we're going for is the Phoenix or the Tomo Fire. The odds that I get either of them very low, but let's. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's fine. Hey, we got burnt pages. Okay, uh, whatever. And another 10. And... Huh? What? Is my entity hider on? <laughs> no way! We did it! No way! <laughs> we got the fucking pet! No way! Look at him! Look at that little guy! What the fuck? Yes! I'm spooned. I'm spooned. I am very spooned. Let's fucking go! <laughs> 276. I'm pretty sure it's way rarer than that. I, I feel, I'm done. I'm just done with Winter Toad. The Tome of Fire, I, I don't need. And the last few crates, no Tome of Fire. Doesn't matter. I'd much rather have the pet. That's way fucking cooler. Well, we have 91 fire making. I'm so spooned with pets. Uh, why can't I just want the enhanced crystal weapon seed and, and augury? But, you know, we got pets. God damn it. So now that we had finally gotten 91 fire making, which was the thing that we thought we needed, but really didn't. It was now finally time to go do all of the things that we thought we needed to do that we actually needed to do to complete the Western Provinces Hard Diary to get the XP lamp to get agility experience so we didn't have to do that by doing agility or, or something like that okay the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna head to Taranwin and fletch a magic longbow so I think this should be Eeyore with camp teleport now this should technically count as Taranwin so I can go magic longbow and then combine these well done you've completed an elite task in the western provinces hard diary sick now we need Prissy Scylla to protect our magic tree I wonder do I get farming experience post 99 is this Groot check health U tree hell yeah seven 7,000 farming experience. Now we use the magic tree here. Pay Prissy Scylla to look after it. There we go. That's 25 coconuts. Congrats. You've completed another elite task. Use the elven overpass. So I ran through this big fucking door, got bit by a wolf, climbed up this little rocky thing, and that was an elite task completed. Wow. And now all we have to do is kill a thousand chompy birds. Jesus Christ. That's a lot. I don't know how many I've killed so far. Where does this even lead? Is this how people get to the underground pass? Ow, fuck. Oh, God. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go home. This place sucks. Okay, I guess now we're gonna go kill a thousand choppy birds or however many left we have to kill. For the hard diary, we only had to kill 300. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, so we have to kill 700 more. So you would think that maybe by this point, I would figure out that getting 91 fire making was a big fat waste of time. But no, still didn't know that. I'm gonna go kill a lot of fat little birds now. Oh my God, they're fucking <laughs> Guys, just shoot him fucking choppy. Kill him. Kill the fucking... <laughs> no way. Kill the choppy birds. Jesus fucking Christ. Their corpses litter the litter the hills like snowflakes upon a, a, a plain of blood. This is insane. Guys, um... I'm killing some chompy birds. We've killed 274 on top of the 300, putting us at a total of 574 chonky little birds. Uh, we need a thousand. And this is going, I mean, honestly, I'm going to be done in another like two hours. This has been pretty chill uh, up until exactly this moment that I started recording. That was fucking insane. But up until then, it's been very chill. Apparently the chompy bird pet is a one in 500 chance every time you kill a chompy, which we're going to be killing a thousand. So odds are we should get the pet. Also, if you pluck a chompy bird, it gives you a another roll for the pet. So we're probably going to be plucking about half of these, putting us more than three times over the drop rate for the chompy chick. So by the end of this, I should have a little uh, little dude following me around, a little Pong Linus. By the gods above, I've made a terrible mistake. <laughs> and I know some of you were thinking it from the last clip because you knew something that I didn't, which is that you cannot get the chompy chick until you have completed the elite diary, which means that I have plucked 500 fucking chompy birds for no reason except for 6,000 feathers so I guess that's kind of fine like you know but we've killed about 500 now only about 300 left and it's gonna be even faster because I won't be plucking these 
stupid bird. Because I can't even get the pet until it's completed. And I'm not going to stay here for the pet once I'm done with the thousand, by the way. There's no way. I'm just going to finish up all these kills. Holy shit, look at them. They descendeth from above. This is a brutal looking grind because the corpses just lie there at different angles. It doesn't feel the same when the body... Yo, how cool would that be if when you killed something in this game, the bodies just stayed on the ground like this? Like, could you imagine Slayer tasks with a cannon? The cow fight layer just completely covered in carcasses. That'd be kind of fucking cool. Yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in like 500 choppy kills unless something cool happens, which I don't, I don't really think something cool can happen, so... See you then. So at this point, I went and I talked to Rance and showed him that I had killed 1,000 chompy birds. And he gave me a really fucking cool hat, which upon obtaining this very cool hat, the text box told me that I had completed the Western Provinces Elite Diaries, at which point I promptly teleported back to the Grand Exchange, put on some fashion scape to celebrate. And then finally, two weeks later, <laughs> noticed that i didn't have to do anything with fire making at all okay so there's <laughs> there's no way that i made a mistake that big there's no way where on earth how did i think that that was even a thing okay well um, we're still gonna go talk to the gnome child and claim our rewards for the Western Province Elite Diaries. Okay, talk to Elder Gnome Child. All right, hello, little freak. Uh, I completed my Elite Western Achievement Diary. Fucking give me the stuff. Okay, the banner will teleport you to Piscators as much as you desire, and you can resurrect once per day at Zora. That's kind of cool. All right, wield the banner. Okay, that's kind of looks pretty fucking bad. Teleport. Where do we go? We're in... <laughs> Wait, this place is... This place looks fucking ho horrible. What are these? This is a little fucking... Everybody here is dead. Skeleton mages? <laughs> George Laxmeister? That's not a real person. Um, okay. At least we can come here as much as we want. Uh, <clears throat> okay. All is not EDM and blow. Very cool name. All is not lost. We still have this antique lamp, which I am definitely going to be putting on agility because that's the whole reason we did this was to get agility experience without doing agility. So here we go. Click on the fucking confirm. 15,000 agility experience and we're still 75,000 away from a level. Um, This is a good... Wow, what, a, what an episode. So that's how I got agility experience by not doing agility. Also, I, I don't know what happened to the runescape client that's been behind me the entire rest of the episode. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the journey. If, if that's not the most RuneScape two weeks I've ever had, I don't know what is other than maybe maybe going 10 times over drop rate at General Grardor. Other than that though, guys, I, I stream on Twitch and YouTube a couple times a month. You'll notice that there's now a live tab on the YouTube channel where you can check out old broadcasts of mine. To be honest, I think they're great. I think they're so good. The stream, I've been very happy with the streams lately. So uh, but if you want to see more, uh, go check that out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.